Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask deep, inquisitive questions and give far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is film composer and musician Michael Whitaker. Michael, how you doing? Doing great. Glad to be here. Cool. Okay. You know the drill, 30 seconds on the clock, and then on to the next question. Are you ready? I'm ready. Lay it on me. Okay. Question number one. How has shelter-in-place impacted creativity and technical innovation? Well, I think a lot of people are reaching out uh, to find different ways of making music via the internet and find different avenues to make money, uh, especially in the live streaming area. I know I, I, know I have, uh, but it's also helped me kind of build my brand and take, uh, take a minute to uh, rethink my normal day, you know? Very good. He's in, he's under the clock, folks. He's under the clock. All right. Give me another question. <laughs> Tell me what you think recovery is going to look like for the music and live sound industry. I think it's going to take quite a while, to be honest with you. As I think people are going to have to uh, be willing to venture out and, and be more comfortable being in groups of, of people. So it's going to take a long time. And I think musicians, frankly, are going to have to find alternate sources of income for a while. And, uh, but at the same time, I think uh, it will hopefully spawn new relationships and new ways to make, make creative income. Question number three, which innovation do you think has had a greater impact? Multi-track recording, the Porta Studio, or the digital audio workstation? Well, I would probably say for me, the, di the digital audio workstation has opened up the idea of creating music to musicians of all all genres and uh, the average person. It's gotten cheaper and it's made creativity more interesting, especially in genres like hip hop and rap. It spawned music where people don't necessarily have a musical background, but they are creating music uh, based on technology. <laughs> Question number four. What artist or band do you think deserves a lot more credit artistically than they get? Wow. Okay. Well, I would say, yeah, I would say I'm going to go back with pop artists like Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. I think pop artists get a bad rap uh, traditionally because the music is simple. And however, when you try and go in a studio and you try and create a pop sound, it's harder than you think. <laughs> Next question. But yeah. Don't put that one on there. <laughs> <laughs> what would 15 year old you be most and least impressed with about you now? Oh, wow. Well, I think impressed that I have managed to work this long. I'm getting old and I'm thankful that I've been working this long. So probably that I've been able to maintain a music career over uh, all the years and probably least impressed that I, I'm not a touring rock star. <laughs> it's probably a good thing, man. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> hard. <laughs> uh, what concert have you been to that you wish you could have mixed? Oh, wow. I've usually it's a pop concert that is in a symphony hall here in Nashville. I think a lot of times pop music in a, a symphonic s setting doesn't work if the mixer is doesn't understand how symphonic music works. Uh, let's give you one more bonus question here. I'll put 30 seconds on the clock. Is there a question you wish I had asked you? No, absolutely not. <laughs> this is Please, very scary no for me. So um, I'll All right, then I'm just going to give you one. I'm going to give you a random one here. How's that? Great. If you could pick any artist that you have worked with, or maybe that you haven't worked with, to join you on a cross-country car trip, who would it be? Wow. Well, I did open up for Jacob Collier at one point, and uh, so if I could, could pick his brain uh, about music, 
as I traveled across the country, that would be amazing. Oh, no he's kidding. A, you, wouldn't even need, you, you wouldn't need any music with you at all, really. No. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, that awesome. concludes our, our session, and you're off the hot seat now. So thank you for joining us. It's Oof. been a pleasure having you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> all right. Thank you.